Have you heard the word? Bird is the word. Birds live in forests. Forests have trees. Trees have nests. Nests have eggs and birds. The word for world is forest. Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the word for world is forest, suggested by my good friend Terry by Ursula K. Le Guin. Ho ho ho. Ursula K. Le Guin's father was an anthropologist. If you don't know what anthropology is, it's not just a store where you can buy a table made out of a tree stump. Anthropology is the study of how every culture in the world is better than ours because everybody is much happier and less fat. This takes place on the planet of Athshi, which is covered in ripe, ripe trees. The villain of the book is Captain Davidson. He leaves his timber camp to go to another camp to see if he can score up a date. He comes back home and finds out that his entire camp has been burnt to the ground by the Athshians. The people of um, Ashina were... The Ashians are these tiny little people, kind of like the Ewoks. Wait, they were covered in fur? Were they tiny? Like, Thumbelina size? They're like Care Bears. Homicidal Care Bears. Oh, I knew that. The leader of the resistance is named Selver. Selver. Silver? Sulfur comes from the ground or mountains. Mountains have forests or can be close to forests. The word for world is forest. He says, you killed my wife. I'm not a fan of that. I don't like that behavior. This is a warning. I killed all your friends. Stay away from us. Let us live in peace. And Davidson, he goes back to the main headquarters of the humans on this planet. And they're like, yeah, maybe we should let this one go. And he's like, no, no, I'm too mean and angry and hateful. I gotta go back and teach those creatures a lesson, which is a derogatory term. Very rude. Don't say it in front of any Athshians that you might run into on the subway or in your local park. Um, according to the Wikipedia article I have up. Oh no, this is a, it's wrong. I'm reading the wrong Wikipedia article. Terry, I didn't read the book. This guy, Selver, he has a really close relationship with the anthropologists in the camp Lyubov. Promises him, hey, we're gonna attack the headquarters. If you stay in your house, you will survive. What does Lyubov do but leave his house and does not survive? He gets cracked in the head by a building falling on him. Like the Wicked Witch of the East. That happened? The summary makes no sense. Davidson's superiors are like, seriously, leave these people alone. That's an order. I don't take orders from you. I'm Captain Davidson and I hate everybody. Boom, get this creature off my land. Bam, I want that tree and I'm gonna take it. The Ashians, they gang up on him, they swarm him, and they're like, oh, jeez. I can't do this. Listen, Terry, I'm sorry. This book is way too dark. And I've done a lot of dark books. I've done books where children were being threatened with hand grenades. I didn't read the book, Terry. I've seen Fern Gully. I saw the trailer for Avatar and the Lorax movie. You know what would be easier to talk about? The Lorax is basically the same book as The Word for World is Forest because it's about trees um, and there's like little guys that are defending the trees. It's got rhyming and pretty colors. Did Dr. Seuss and Ursula K. Le Guin ever meet? Prove to me they didn't. Post in the comments below if you know. The Lorax is about this guy, the Onceler. The Onceler sees these truffula trees. He's like, hey, I can make some scratch off of these. The Lorax pops out of the ground and he says, hey, don't do that, come on. Let's just have trees and be nice to each other. You don't need to cut down all my truffula trees for your thneeds. Your thneed is basically a useless object. It, it can be too many things. A bicycle seat, it could be a picture frame, it could be your parents if they've left you, it could be your right shoe, it could be a partner for you if you're a very lonely person who's socially awkward. Onceler chops down all these trees, makes a big factory to make all of these luxury furs. We got a need, a what? A need. Need for what? Need! Driving away all the fish and the birds and the little bears. He's depreciated the land so much that there's no more truffula trees growing. He can't make a thneed without the truffula fluff. So everybody leaves. His relatives are like, peace, buddy, deuces, bro. See ya, cousin. And his mom's like, you're disowned. And the Lorax is like, I told you, I warned you, look at the crappy world you've created. I'm just gonna lift myself up by the butt and throw myself up into the clouds and never come back. Oh, but wait, here's a little seed for you. And also, unless. He crapped out these blocks that said, unless. Fast forward to the future where this kid's hearing the story about the guy who destroyed their town, basically. The monster's like, 
Maybe I should be called the Twiceler, because this is my second chance. And he gives the seed to Ted, the kid, the boy who was like mad at him. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I don't think they named the kid in the book. They do in the movie version. We're not doing the movie though, we're doing the book. We're gonna call the boy Ted, because I like to give people names, and I don't want to just call him the boy. Okay. The one slur is like, hey, unless someone cares an awful lot, things aren't going to get better. They're not. I don't, I'm paraphrasing. Nothing's going to get better if you keep making that sweater. Unless you go out and hug a tree, there'll be no bears for you and me. If you give a robot diabetes, he's always going to be your sweeties. Basically, the message of these two books are essentially the same. Leave trees alone, leave little hairy guys alone, or else something terrible will happen. Either you will be stranded on a desert island with no trees around, or you'll be in a town with no trees around, and also no bears, or fish, or birds. If we're talking about trees, and we're talking about trees' roots, and trees' roots really get in there. Guys, do you think my roots are too much? Do you think the roots in my hair are like tree roots or just distracting? Comment below if you think my roots are distracting or if they look fine. Well, the once was like, I'm blinded by money. Capitalism. Anarchy. Revolution. Russia. Communist. In Soviet Union, the need wears, wears you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if only we were on stage. I know. <laughs> Are you enthused or do you hate me? <laughs> Guys, the one thing about Dan that makes our friendship really difficult is his happy face and his angry face are the same. So I never know if he's happy or angry at me. Um, and most of the time it's just disappointment. <laughs> <laughs>